Hi laddies and lassies, Chris here from Heed the Ball Gaming and yeah, as you can see, we've managed to part 10 and we've managed to sneak into the first division playoff semi-final, which is, yeah, we just sneaked in. I mean, we had that glorious run where we were just destroying everybody in that middle of the table and then at the end, the form just kind of tailored off just in time for the playoffs. So yeah, hopefully we'll do all right. And as you can see, I found this absolutely lush Ajax retro top in my bottom of my drawer. I actually forgot I had it and I was like, whoa, when I saw it. So I had to wear it on camera for this special occasion. Anyway, I'm just going to go straight on to the episode because I am super pumped to see how we get on in this double header. Yeah, super pumped, I actually said that. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go straight into the game, double header against Cove, Ramblers and Limerick, to show you the schedule. I wish I'd just change that back to fixtures, it just annoys me. We were last year for the 7-2 defeat of Finn Harps, it was the best performance of the season. We followed that up in the Senior Challenge Cup first round, um, beat Athlone Town, Kane Leonard has been an absolute beast so far. And then University College Dublin, they are a Premier League side. They got relegated though. They did get relegated, so can't read too much into this. We beat them 2-1 after extra time. But they did beat us earlier on in the season in the League Cup quarterfinal. A lot of cups in this um, competition. Then we went to Limerick and they beat us 4-1. Just completely out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't think we deserve to lose 4-1, but yeah, we, we lost 4-1 anyway. So you can't complain. Then we went to Athlone Town, who we beat in the Cup. And, of course, they beat us 2-1. Um, I think this was more a smash and grab, to be honest. I think we were the better side. Then we went to Longford, who were playing, you know, we're playing, playing Limerick today, who beat us 4-1, which is a bit worrying. We went to Longford, and we beat them 3-1. Then we went to Cabertilli, 1-3-0. And then, of course, we followed it up against the Watford side, eh, who beat us 3-1. And then we went to Wexford, and, of course, lost 5-1. We're, we're very, very definition of inconsistent. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went to Longford, 1-1-0 one, one, And then Droha, who finished top of the league It was our last game of the season We beat 5-2, or 2-5 as it says there uh, Bodanovic scoring uh, three goals Kane Leonard, who's been an absolute beast He scored something like um, I think he's 20 odd goals so far this season So absolutely brilliant season from him So Limerick, we're going to be more of a challenge um, But we're sticking with this tactic It seems to be inconsistent and Limerick seem to have a number of us so we'll see how we get on in the first round uh, of this playoff and we'll change things around for the second leg if we need to. So Malloy, Fleming, McSweeney, Lyons, O'Connor, O'Rourdon, Coogan, Lam and Chindia and then Bogdanovic and Leonard and Leonard has, I just want to see how many goals he has actually scored this season. He scored 19 in the league but he scored over 21 all, all in and Bogdanovic he has scored, he, he came on to form in the end, he scored 14 goals, 17 all over, so that is absolutely phenomenal for, you know, between them, that's a 35 goals, and that's all you can ask for for your strikers. So maybe a partnership is working, right, like what we're going to say, team talk, go out and get revenge from Limerick, because they beat us 4-1. Best defence, treat it as a normal match among the elite possession leaders. It's what we're paid to do, right? <laughs> it's a natural choice, right? Jake Walker's been banging in the goals. He's a fine player. Well, I have fine players too. There we go. Right, I'm quite nervous about this. If we get a good result here today, we, we will sneak into the. We're, we're, we're about one and a. We're about a quarter. One and a. I was if I can actually speak English. What about about just under one star? <laughs> it was harder for me to say than for you to listen to. Trust me. And there's Bogdanovic. So if we can win this, if we could even get to the final against them, I think it's Shelburne. If we can get to the final against them, then hopefully our reputation will be enhanced. It's very difficult because we have to win six games to go through to the Premier League, so I can't see this happening. Coogan, who always wears... Oh! Oh! Penalty! What was that for? I 
I'm not going to say anything, but I, I do not think that was a penalty. But we'll take it anyway. There's Coogan. Oh, that was that was the worst goalkeeper. It just went right under his. He dived the right way. He got it, and it just sneaked under his arm. That is, I would say, yeah, that's goalkeeper's going to need to take a good look at yourself for that one. <laughs> Brilliant, 1-0 up. If we can get a result here, we're... we favourites for the promotion. Away, Lamb. Oh, that was weak as a kitten. I don't know if that was a cross or a shot. It's going to be a counter-attack goal, because you can tell how it's setting up. And there he is, Lamb. Away. Oh, McSweeney. He's going to be a big miss next season if we're still here. We're roaring. He's a colossus, is McSweeney. Offside? No. Doesn't matter if that's a terrible miss. So, yeah, it's a huge rebuilding job here next season because I haven't been planning in the long term here just because I had always planned to sneak away quite quickly. But Neville, oh, he dispossessed by Dagdanovic and oh, one on one against the keeper. The keeper wins. He hadn't planned long term, but it's so difficult. Every last season, I, I let a lot of experienced guys go and brought in a lot of the kids. Oh, I thought that was in. I brought in a lot of the kids. This season's going to be much the same again. Oh, but, oh, the Danovitz had a lot of chances. Yeah, brought in a lot of the kids, and next this season's going to be much the same again, so... Experienced guys will get killed, and then, but yeah, I don't, I don't think, I think we'll be looking for a job after the playoff finals. Coogan, although if we get promotion to the Irish Premier League, it is tempted to stay just another season just to see if we can get a better job, if we keep them up. It's a big ask to keep this team up, though. Oh, and Leonard. Oh, that's Kean Leonard with the goal, and that is that is a fantastic goal, a young lad. And if wherever we go, I'd quite like to take Kean Leonard with us. I'm surprised none of the big boys have been stiffing about him. He doesn't want to sign a new contract because I annoyed him during negotiations, but that'll wear off. He's at forty-six percent, really. I do not want to lose him for the for the finals. Right, we take him off. Um, keep an eye on Keith Lynch, who sounds like he should be in boy zone. Bedanovic. Oh, McSweeney, the Colossus. I like McSweeney as well, but he signed a new contract with, I think it's with Shamrock Rovers. So, oh, or a pre-contract, so. But he's an option, depending on what side we go to next. He's not worth a great deal of money, so we could get him again in maybe the summer if we move. And there's Walker over the top. Oh, that is a save by Malloy. I saw the voting for the greatest goalkeeper in Cove Ramblers in the last decade, and Lloyd was winning it as far as I was aware, so. Sullivan over a top walker, offside, no. Oh, that is a miss. Right, let's praise them. Get him over to halfway line. Halfway line, half time even. English is, I'm struggling with it today. Sean Russell. Right. Team talk. Very happy with things are going. We get another guilty goal. I think this tie would be over. Kelly with a goal kick. Well, it's not a goal kick, a free kick. To Bogdanovic. Oh! A lot of woodwork hitting at the moment. I don't know if that's a bug, but I seem to be getting the woodwork hit. Every second, third game. 
Abbott's booked. And a lunch with a free kick. This is an interesting one. Oh, it's a good free kick as well. We've got the experienced Ian Turner on the bench, so that could be a option, Lions. Oh, McSweeney! That could be his leaving present, James McSweeney. He does pop up with a the odd goal. Yeah, McSweeney's definitely a player I'd, I'd like to keep tabs on. He's only 20. Don't know. Oh, look at that. He's, he's like salmon. Highlight straight from the kickoff. Limerick really need to get a goal back, but... Lemon's been booked, but over the top. Oh, Aaron O'Sullivan. Sub. Dia for Turner. Defence and that are all playing reasonably well, so we'll just keep that as we as we see it. Oh, check him out, he's running back with the ball. Still thinks there's only a chance. Sweeney, anybody struggling? Fleming with throwing to Coogan. Oh, bounced off. Keegan, running the whole length. Am I going to regret not? We're just going to drop this back a little bit to balanced. I don't want to make too many changes. We're dominating this game. Oh, but Dan it just runs into a cul de sac. Over the top. Oh, Lions controls the ball beautifully. Sweeney, he doesn't put a foot wrong. Lloyd, bit of dodgy goalkeeping there, and then he panics. <laughs> well, I'm struggling. Let's get him off. Michael O'Rourke doesn't get more Irish than that. Throw in. O'Connor. To Roden. Oh, Coogan, can he score? And he does, it's 4 1. It surely makes a second leg a formality. Surely. Coogan. And there we go, cheeky little. Finish there, beautiful. Oh, a kick off highlight again. McSweeney, the Colossus, to Turner, to Kuglin. Interesting cross that Turner gets there. An experienced man. Oh, tackle the captain. Oh, Lions beautifully cut out. Back to Malloy, who's a bit rattled. Turner. He's so good with the ball as Turner to Bogdanovic. Oh, and that should have been five. It's a corner. Turner will probably take it because he's on the pitch now. That's Coogan. Oh, McSweeney! And it's five! I told you this tactic's erratic. <laughs> when you're good, you're good, and when you're bad, you're very bad. <laughs> Five one. Uh, 
that's the job done. The job is a good one. They now need to score four goals. Which I've seen, so and I've been on the receiving end of a comfortable win. Oh that's six. <laughs> well, that surely makes the second leg a formality. Five goal head start. We should just shake hands and just agree to not play it. And Kelly. Beautiful. And Coogan gets a hat trick. Hand over to his. Yeah, I want to tell him I'm very happy. That makes it easy for the second leg. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, I don't care what you say, mate. You're just trying to deflect from the fact that you've lost 6-1 in a playoff first leg. Right, I'll see you for the second leg in a minute. Right, we're back for the second leg. It's just academical, really. We're just going to go get through. doesn't matter if we win. We're going to play a few of the young guys and see if we can get them some experience. McSweeney is out, and I think Rorden's out as well. Or not, um, but we'll just have a... Oh, no, it's Coogan. So it's McSweeney and Coogan. I've mixed it up. The midfield and the defence are all quite young. Leonard's not playing either because I want him for the first leg of the, the next game. We just look at the... My home, you'll see something really quite interesting, my profile. They've um, accepted my application to do an A license. So pretty much I'm going to be employable the next uh, game, next game, the next um, club. I'm going to take a chance with me, I'm going to have an A license. I'm going to have experience of playoffs and I'm really going to be, yeah, this is really good. I'm still 10%, I think I'm oh, 15% now. So I just need another little nudge of a star to be 20%, which would make me a one-star coach, which is going to be absolutely fantastic for the next job. So we're just going to go to team selection. As you can see, go for Malloyd, Fleming, O'Rourdon, Lyons and Abulu. And then O'Rourke, Larry Lynch comes in in midfield. Harrelson comes in on the left. Turner on the right. Keeley comes in to start. And Bogdanovic is going to stay start up front, he's going to be the main man up front and Shane Keeley's going to be on the bench as the option if we need somebody off the bench ah, we are just going to go for it, this is just nice and relaxing this have fun, bye bye um, we didn't set right aim, let's go for it He's a fine player, I, I don't know anything about him. Is Larry Lynch fit enough to last? We told he's fit enough and he seems alright. Um, I'd rather talk about the 11 players on the pitch because McSweeney is injured. Not injured, suspended, so why would we talk about him? He's leaving the club anyway and we're 6-1 up from the first leg. So these guys are going to have to put in a performance. Ooh, after 14 seconds, <laughs> we've pulled one back. Oh dear. <laughs> That's not the start I was hoping for. Right, we still need five, it's fine. Four. Still need four goals to equalise. Right, here's Fleming. This is a problem, we don't have a great strength and depth outside the the first team. Oh dear. A bully. Oh, he gets there. That's enough to make you think. Oops. <laughs> Griffin. Oh, yeah, take shots like that all day, mate. Nothing happening. Right, we're going to demand more of them. Turner. O'Rourke. Oh, and Keeley nearly. Nearly puts advantage back to us. 20 minutes gone. Oh, 
Malloy's going to pick that up. He does panic sometimes with the ball at his feet. There's Malloy Turner to Keeley. Had a lot of game time, Keeley. Just wanted to give him a, a chance in a big game. As much as expected, they've came out and they hit us straight away, but but it's not shown anything. If we've got a few breaks, but just score again, we might have to change things up just that little bit, but. Lloyd's going to get there. Straight out. What a ball if it had worked. To Fleming. Over the top to nobody. Neville is going to get there. Crosses it to Keeley. And he gets there but there's nobody in the midfield. This is the problem we're missing. Missing uh, Chindia. Oh, <laughs> Walker's having a lot of chances, but he's <laughs> he's scuffed them all. Right, that's what I just allowed. I guess a better side. They could have been right back into this. I remember a game, I think it was Football Manager 16, and uh, I think we were uh, Shakhtar Donetsk, and we were playing Man City. And we won six 0 in the in the first leg, and they actually came back and they and they beat us eight six in the in the second leg. So sometimes I think it's actually better being being closer. Um, when when it is being um, having a big lead because they attack they change their tactics and they try and come out and especially if we don't change our tactics like what we haven't <laughs> haven't done, but. Um, just makes them I don't like that I'm complacent by the, the shout right we've got 35 minutes to, to hold on yeah it happened a few years ago as well one of, a weird game actually football manager I think it was 04 it was 04 or the, or the next one a yeah, football manager if yeah, well, championship manager 4 even and we're, we're playing Coventry City and we're playing, I think it was Sheffield United. And we were 4-0 up at half time. And we ended up losing 5-4. So it does happen, the turnarounds. But I was fairly confident these guys don't have much to... Bodanovic, you can get a rest. On comes Keith Lynch. Charlie Lyons is booked. Hopefully that doesn't mean he's out for the, the next leg. Michael O'Rourke's playing pretty bad in that position. On comes... Jindia, just to see it out. Getting his experience on. Wardle. And they'd, you know, we started off like a house on fire, but we've just kind of burnt out. It's been a professional job from our side. Just let them pass it about. And there we go, Malloy clutches the ball. Oh, they're going to hit us with everything but the kitchen sink. We don't even need to put it to time waste or anything because we're so far ahead. Oh, Lynch just goes past it. And there we go, 1-1. One, one. <laughs> That's a nail in the coffin, as if it wasn't already nailed shut. Super glued. Gaffer tape. Buried under six foot of soil. Bang. There we go. Lynchy boy. He's one of the big, great white hopes of this club. In fact, next season he might be the main man if, if um, Leonard doesn't Accept his contract. And that is brilliant. 
congratulations, you've all dreamt of playing in a final, but we've still got another two games to go, so let's see how we get on. Fantastic. Right, so what I'll do is we'll come back for the next leg, and if we get through that, we'll come back for the next leg, and then it'll be the great job hunt. Alright, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.